the Ralph sisters, sterilized in the name of public health. Mary Alice and Minnie Lee Ralph were the youngest of six children born to Lonnie and Minnie Ralph in Montgomery, Alabama. On June 14, 1973, 14-year-old Minnie Lee Ralph and her 12-year-old mentally disabled sister, Mary Alice, were sterilized without the knowledge or consent of their parents. Nurses with the Montgomery Family Planning Clinic, a federally funded family planning agency, deceived their illiterate mother into believing that she was consenting to their girls receiving women's health shots. Their mother, Minnie, signed an X on pieces of paper believing that she was giving permission for the girls to receive birth control shots. Two years earlier, after moving into public housing with their family, Mary Alice, Minnie Lee, and their older sister, Katie, had been administered experimental women's health injections by the local family clinic without their informed consent and initially without their parents' consent. After the federal government ended the experimental women's health trials, clinic nurses decided that the girls need to be sterilized. The clinic targeted the girls for the procedure because they were poor, black, and living in public housing. Nurses first approached Mrs. Ralph to get permission to inject the girls with a contraceptive Depo-Provera, which was still in its experimental stages. The injection request was based on the government's interest in controlling the black population, race, and families living and likely to remain in poverty. A nurse arrived at the Ralph's home and took Minnie Lee and Mary Alice to a hospital where they were left alone in a hospital ward. A nurse went into the girls' room and had Minnie Lee sign a false document indicating that she was over the age of 21 when in fact she was only 14 years old. The next morning, both sisters were placed under anesthetics and surgically sterilized. When Mrs. Ralph questioned the girls about the shots, Minnie Lee told her that they had had surgery. Mrs. Ralph later found out that instead of her two girls having contraceptive shots, they were permanently sterilized with government funding. With the help of the Southern Poverty Law Center, the Ralph family filed suit against the clinic and the Office of Economic Opportunity, which provided the clinic's federal funding. The lawsuit drew national attention to the targeted sterilization of poor minority women and led to increased regulation of sterilization procedures for children and the mentally disabled, as well as the termination of federal funding for coerced and voluntary sterilization. Essentially, the lawsuit led to the requirement that doctors obtain informed consent. Until next time, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Press the bell to be notified of future uploads. Thank you for watching.